Good day everyone. I'm Michael. And I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, we will be solving some of the basic applications of operators, variables, and if-else-if statement. For our first exercise, let's write a program that accepts grade and print the equivalent description. Here is the range and their equivalent description. The program will print an excellent if the grade is greater than or equal to 94 less than or equal to 99. Then very good if it's greater than or equal to 88 and less than or equal to 93. And so and so forth. Here is the test data. On the first run, there should be a prompt message that asks to input a grade. After inputting the grade, it will print the equivalent description of the grade. Before we do some coding, let's first create pseudocode for our program. So what is pseudocode? Pseudocode is not an actual programming language. It uses short phrases to write code for programs before you create it in a specific language. Once you know what the program is about and how it will function, then you can use pseudocode to create statements to achieve the required results for your program. First, you need to read and understand the task or question properly. This is arguably the most important step in the process. If you fail to properly understand the question, you won't be able to work through the problem and figure out the possible steps to take. Once you identify the main problem to be solved you'll be ready to tackle it. Second, you need to break down the problem into smaller parts and subproblems. With each smaller problem you solve, you'll get closer to solving the main problem. It helps to represent these problem-solving steps in the clearest and most easily understandable way you can, which is pseudocode. This is now our pseudocode for the problem. First is to declare variables. The first variable is to store the grade and the second variable is to store the description of the grade. Then print a prompt message. Input the grade. And next, is the series of if-else-if to identify whether the grade is in the range of excellence, very good, good, average, or fail. Last is to print the description based on the inputted grade. Now let's go to Visual Studio and convert this pseudocode into actual C-sharp code. First is to declare the two variables, first is a grade as integer, the other is a description as a string. Then print a prompt message. Next is to get the grade from the user. In this case, we need to use the readLine method that belongs to the console class. This method reads the next line of characters from the standard input stream and returns a string data. We will assign the user input to the variable grade, so we can compare its value and identify its equivalent description. If you notice, we get an error on this line. It says that we cannot implicitly convert type string to an integer. Since we want to assign the user input value to the grade variable, which is an integer of type. We must convert the return value of the readLine method to int by using the toInt32 method under the convert class. Next is to identify the grade's description by using an if statement.
Now let's run the code. We can try different grade to test each description. There you have it. This solution is not perfect. There are things we might need to consider. Like, what if the user inputs a character instead of a number or inputs a larger like 800? These are the things you might consider. But I leave it up to you to experiment with. Now let's do another exercise. I want you to write a program that reads three numbers and prints increasing if they are in increasing order, decreasing if they are in decreasing order, and neither otherwise. Here is the test data. In sample 1, if the user input 3511, the program will print increasing. In sample 2, if the user input 255, the program will print neither. Here is our pseudocode, first we need to prompt the user to input 3 numbers. Then save the inputted numbers to the variables. Then series of if-else if statements to check whether they are increasing or decreasing. Now, let's create a new console app project and convert this pseudocode into a C-sharp program. Here, we declare three integer variables. Then prompt the user to input a number. We now then convert the inputted number to an integer, because read line method returns a value of string. And last, is to identify order by using if else if. Let's run the program. Now that's how we solve a problem, create pseudocode, and convert it to a C-sharp program. Before I end this video, here is another task I would like you to solve. I want you to write a program that prompts the user to provide a single character from the alphabet. Print vowel or consonant, depending on the user input. If the user input is not a letter, or is a string of length greater than 1, print an error message. Here is the sample test data for your guide. That's all for this video lesson. If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone!